welcome here to Talk at CB and welcome back to the channel guys. We're going to be talking internationals tonight as Argentina have beaten Peru in their World Cup qualifying match. They've stayed unbeaten with a 2-0 victory on the night which takes them there to 10 points from four games so far and it certainly was more encouraging signs for Lionel Scaloni's men and of course undoubtedly we've got to talk about the big game and the massive result from the nation. League, Spain 6, Germany 0. It's all coming up in today's video. So let's discuss it. Because, of course, the focus is going to be here on Argentina against Peru. Primarily, I have covered Argentina for several years on the channel. I know many of you guys do enjoy the videos. And this here was how they lined up in today's qualifying match. The Armani once again in goal tonight. Tagliafico returned here on the left. And actually, they're Argentina reverting back to more of a back four, which I think suited them really, really well in this game. They had Paredes holding in midfield. They had Ocelso and also Rodrigo de Paul. We got Gonzalez, Messi and Lautaro lead in the line there for Argentina and particularly there I think Tagliafico he not only helped today balance the defence I thought Argentina were pretty strong defensively which is something there that you don't usually associate with this team but I think going forward Tagliafico there really linking up well with Lo Celso and Gonzalez and that left hand side for Argentina it was very very impressive going forward that's where the first goal came from and there was some really really good signs there Messi of course many times came central here to play right behind Lataro Martinez and when he did that Rodrigo de Paul was quite happy there to move out to the right hand side to take up that space and I thought overall Argentina played a good game they had some very nice passing moves they created the chances they could have scored many more goals I felt on the day Peru they gave heart they gave soul as they always do but defensively they were just let down too many times. I do have to say though, in terms of Argentina, it almost looked like a direct repeat of what we saw from them in the last game against Paraguay, because in the early stages there, they had a big penalty scare once again, as Armani had a bit of a dodgy moment, surprise, surprise, a bit of a mistake from him, there seemed to be a little bit of contact in the box, but not much at all, the referee went over to look at the screen, and when they do that, usually it ends up in a penalty. Argentina faced a really nervous few minutes but the referee did not point to the spot and from that moment on Argentina did not look back. They were really, really good in that first half, creating opportunities. They were quite clinical in front of goal when they got their chances. And it was Nicolas Gonzalez, like I say, who got that first goal. And I think all around, it's a brilliant move. It truly, truly was. Down that left-hand side, Lo Celso gets into a good bit of space. He beats his man. He actually then cuts back inside, a little outside of the foot pass that it was, infield to Nicolas Gonzalez, who's coming in. He stays composed. It's a really good finish there. Low and high across the goalkeeper, Argentina with a really, really important lead. And of course he scored in the last game too. Two in two now for Gonzalez and once again it was Los Celso providing the assist. And I think both of those players have been really really impressive in those recent games and hopefully we'll see them continue in this team in the matches to come too. And the danger did continue coming down that left hand side. Messi had a really nice ball that went in behind it. Tagliafico, he was exploding into that open space on the left. He got in on goal but he didn't quite take on his shot quick enough to force the goalkeeper into another save but it didn't take too long for Argentina to double their lead Ataro Martinez it was and he was much much more clinical in his chance tonight than he was against Paraguay when of course he missed one which was then later ruled offside it was Paredes there with a through ball I thought Peru like I say defensively that was a big mistake from them it wasn't too much of an adventurous pass but it easily made its way through between the two centre backs there to Lataro Martinez this time, he makes no mistake. One on one with the goalkeeper. He just takes him on, slides it into the back of the net. A big, big goal for him. I think you could see that there in his celebration. He almost hit the floor. I thought for a minute the goal might have been disallowed. But Lataro, so, so relieved to get on the score sheet. Argentina need those goals. And at half time, they were looking very, very comfortable. And in the second half, it was quite difficult actually for Argentina because on the face of it, you would say, well, they didn't add to their lead. Of course, they didn't concede. A clean sheet is something they all very much welcome. But it could have easily been certainly more goals on the night there. They created chances. I think in the second half, Peru were putting their body on the line, throwing themselves in front of shots. And I do believe as well, they definitely should have been a penalty get given on Lionel Messi just after the hour mark in the game. He gets you into a really, really good area. He actually fakes in 
inside, really nice piece of play from Messi, good dribbling, and he's clearly tripped. There's a clear leg that comes across in there, brings him down. I thought the referee was going to point at the spot. I thought at the very, very least that VAR would have a look at that decision, but they didn't. They didn't even bother to look at it. Messi did not get a penalty. He was in there as well a few moments later. He had another chance in that area, but he couldn't quite get his shot away. And Messi again, 15 minutes from time, this time picked the ball up in a good area. He's one of those driving runs there. He's really running at Peru. They try and close him down, but the defender that comes out to meet Messi, he just skins him, knocks the ball past him, continues on his run. He's at the edge of the box. He takes on the shot and he's just trying to place it. Just a little roll of a finish there, looking for that bottom left-hand corner, but it just goes wide of the post. And he was so close tonight, Messi. I thought Argentina, not just in terms there of individuals, but as a team tonight, they look good. I think Messi was unlucky not to score. But I think, to be honest, it is nice watching this Argentina team, knowing there are other players right now who can get on the score sheet. Gonzalez, Lataro, La Celso looks good. De Paul looks a threat at times as well. Ocampos came off the bench. It's not all on the shoulders now of Lionel Messi. And certainly when you're going in to big international tournaments, when you're not just relying solely on one man every single game, you're going to have a better chance. Lionel Scaloni here is trying to build a team. He's trying to build a system. And I think certainly over these past qualifiers, Argentina have won games. They won convincingly. They've had a draw, of course, along the way. But game by game, I certainly believe we're seeing improvement. And it's positive signs from Argentina, who now sits second in the World Cup qualifying table. But of course, guys, of course, I could not talk about internationals without talking about a big game from the European stage. And I haven't really spoken too much about the Nations League games because, in all honesty, I think it is a bit of a glorified, friendly competition here that UEFA have just plucked out of nowhere and created. But still, tonight, take nothing away from the massive win that Spain have had over Germany. Because upon Germany, Spain inflicted their biggest ever competitive defeat. Spain 6, Germany 0, as Spain progressed there to the Nations League Final Four, with our very own Sergio Roberto starting and playing the full 90 minutes at right back, and it truly was a stunning display of football from, of course, also our very own Luis Enrique at the helm, and I was so, so happy for him as the coach there of the Spanish national team. Morata got them off the mark there in that first half, followed up by Ferran Torres' first goal, Rodri as well, putting Spain 3-0 up before half-time, and then in the second half, it was once again the Ferran and Torres show. He's really started now over these past few weeks to come to the fore. Such a talented young player. Man City there have got an absolute bargain on their hands. Picked him up for just 20 million euros from Valencia. He scored a hat-trick on the night along with the inform Oyazabal also scoring there. The stunning sixth as Spain record a magisterial win and Germany. And it was a good team they put out too. They were left embarrassed. So that there, guys, was the latest on the international front. Antoine Griezmann was also in action on the night, as, like I say, several of our players were in the UEFA Nations League. Now, focus, of course, though, is going to be back on Barca. We want to focus our football on the club side of things. And we'll be back against Atletico very, very soon. And there's going to be so much build-up coming your way. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys, on Argentina tonight and also that incredible Spain result. I will see you soon. And I thank you indeed for watching and for supporting. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barça. Oh.